you can do it. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> That's Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hola Puerto Rico, aquí estoy compartiendo con mi equipo extendido. Hay gente desde Canadá, de diferentes partes del mundo. Y estamos presenciando un momento muy importante para todos nosotros, donde nos reunimos y compartimos cómo estamos transformando eh, la calidad de la vida humana. Y todo lo que está ocurriendo científicamente es muy importante lo comparto. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Beverly. Seth, Seth is setting Hi. it up stuff, so. I just did a live, like, uh, to all of you here, uh, like, um, Days Goodwin was saying, I just did a live video telling Puerto Ricans, uh, Puerto Rico and my friends on Facebook uh, how I'm privileged to have a team like you uh, and what we're doing. So if you all want to do the same, go ahead. Let the world know that we're here, right? All right, those of you who are joining in on Zoom, we're doing a test check. This is just for you, Florence LaRocca. This is a shout out just for you. How are, how's our sound right here? Sound okay, Florence? Testing, testing. Sound okay, perfect. Are there any angle, any thumbs up or a thumbs down? Right now, Florence? All right, yes, we're good. All right, this will be a better sound than last time. All right, good. <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
chair, I'm going to turn it all over to Ms. Sarah because she's going to start to. Uh, oh, you're going to on our notes. I'm not checking my text. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sorry, a little bit about myself. So I'm from my Pua Oe. I'm from the, oh. I'm from the island of Oahu. I was born and raised there. I'm part Hawaiian and also part uh, English. And my grandfather is from Texas. Um, so maybe that's why. But I was actually drugged to a meeting in the inn. I sat in the back of the room with this lovely lady right here. There was actually quite a few of you that invited me over and over and over again. And I had my nose up in the air. I come from a Hawaiian healing background of eight, 18 years now. And so I understood plant medicine. I understood energetics. I understood physical, um, you know, basically physical therapy um, through the use of my hands and manipulating people's bodies for 15 plus years to get them into fullness and wellness. I understand and I move from a place of mana and the feeling that I get so that I move forward on something that feels right to me. So when I heard this and I was following them, just like Daisy said on stage, I was following for so long on social media going, oh yeah, they're saying some interesting points. Oh yeah, they're um, talking about this herb. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. But I was just like, nah, I'm good. I have all my herbs. I've done extensive research on some of the things that I know that I want to put into my body um, that wasn't just from Costco or wasn't just from, you know, certain places where I could just pick up and go. I, I really wanted to put some quality things and supplements into my body. And uh, four out of the five ingredients were in my cupboard. So again, it wasn't about the knowledge that they were bringing, it was about timing. And we say that over and over again. And basically the timing for me was I needed a break. I needed to get away from my son and my then partner to just have a mommy moment. Yes. And so I went for a glass of wine, you guys. I did not go for the uh, education. I sat in the back of the room and by the end of the night, I was not only leaning in, I was already raising my hand going, yep, that herb does this. And yes, that does that. And wow, I've been using that for blah, 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 blah. And so here I am. I, um, because I had just had a child, I actually unfortunately had to um, uh, claim bankruptcy the week that I, um, that I got introduced to this. And she said, when you gather the money up, let me know um, and we'll, we'll get you started. And she would not let me get anything but the highest pack. She said, no, when you gather, gather that 1200 bucks up, let me know in two weeks time. I was blessed with this job that paid this, this job that paid that, and that job that paid that. And um, collectively, I got my money, and here I am standing next to one of my besties. And we are all very thankful. So, wow. Pro five, too. Pro five, yeah, five. Pro five to my new poor boy. Woo! This woman did the Hawaiian blessing to start my daughter's. Um, baby shower 11 years ago. So we go way, way back. She grew up with my husband. It's incredible in this business. Like they say, it's not who you know, but who they know and who they know. But it's really incredible when the people that you know and that you love decide to join you. It's even more powerful. And then they introduce you to all the other people they know. So I love you. All right. Um, I'm going to try to tell my story really quickly because I know we have Time, time stuff going on, but um, my name is Sarah Redekin. I'm actually from Seattle, Washington. Um, I've been in Hawaii for 15 years now. My husband is born and raised in a little town that um, we live in and grew up actually with Katie, Di, and Chris Aldrin, who are a huge part of our team. Um, and this found me through Daisy Goodwin, the amazing pro nine Daisy Goodwin. Um, I am a teacher actually by trade and by practice and all those things. I have a master's in teaching. Um, I played lacrosse in college. I was like just your typical jock who was a teacher and loved what I did and brought me tons of joy. I actually taught many of the children of the women sitting here right now. Um, and I just figured I would do that for the rest of my life because it brought me so much joy and I was happy. Uh, my husband is an artist um, and he works from home and he's been an artist his whole life. That's it. I say that with pride. 
because he didn't he hasn't had another job, which is amazing. Um, but he's 10 years older than me and um her age. <laughs> and um when when this found me, actually I had just had um, our second child and I had decided to take a year off from teaching because I thought that was possible. But I came to find out was in Hawaii that's not possible to live on an artist's income. And that's it. Um, and Daisy reached out. Actually, it's ironic because we're both wearing outfits that I've gotten a lot of compliments on my outfit today. Yeah. And, and so she's like, oh, that's cute. I'm like, I got it at Olive. She's like, I got mine at Olive too. Olive is a boutique in our town that is owned by her best friend when she was little, who is my current best friend, one of my current best friends now in my wedding. She connected us. Oh, and, and she's not gonna see this, which is why I didn't tell you this. But that's what happened. We're like, oh, how funny! We should send her a picture. Like, you should be here. Um, but anyway, Daisy reached out. She didn't even know what we were going through. She had no idea our situation. She had no idea that my husband was actually in a place where he couldn't really work uh, or surf because he had so much pain in his shoulder from the years of surfing and the years of painting that he was not able to do that anymore. And for most people, especially men, when you can't do your livelihood and you can't provide, it's huge, right? And then you couldn't exercise because you couldn't surf and you couldn't sleep, which we, I mean, what it's lead to, right? All the things, depression, all the things. And so Daisy, come to find out, reached out to me because of the business. Like, who, who do you know? She asked her friend, who do you know who could grow, help me grow this? She didn't know that he was at this horribly low point. And that I wasn't working and not making any money, et cetera, et cetera. So it took probably how many trips to Oahu? Like three, maybe, and a lot of phone calls. And I I finally listened and I bought the big box, but I didn't even start taking it. My husband started taking it, actually, without me even thinking about it. And three months later, his shoulder pain, there's no reason for it. A few months later, about three months later, his shoulder pain. And the allergies that he suffered his entire life living in Hawaii, three months after that, gone. And he was like, okay, there's something to this. Um, at this time, my bestie, Katie, my other bestie, I got like three or four. She's, she's like, <laughs> I love people. If you haven't met me yet, I'm surprised I haven't met you yet. Um, but Katie decided to like her and do this as well. And then her sister, Kristen, decided to link arms and do this as well. And then a bunch of our friends were like, wait a minute, you guys are having fun, you're helping people, and slowly but surely, we met you. The whole, it just, it just started to grow in a way that we had no idea was even possible. None of us thought we were gonna be network marketers. And I would go to school, I would drop, I would actually, I wouldn't take my kids to school. My husband would take them to school. I would go to work and, and I would tap into my team during the day and I would spend my recesses at my desk messaging with the team and I would spend my lunches messaging with my team and following up with people and doing these little, little things. I'm telling you, I had a full-time teaching job, two kids under the age of six, a husband who worked from home and I helped run his business. So like, I'm not a stay-at-home mom that could just do this whenever I want. This was legit nooks and crannies. And we're coming on five years of me being in this business. And of course, it's still not here yet. But I was able to, with the incredible energy of our team, retire myself from teaching this year. Which is unbelievable. And the beautiful thing is, it doesn't stop. Right? You're like, oh, and I made this accomplishment. And it's really funny. I said this at Profile Summit a couple of months ago. But I had this whole, like, what I now know is kind of a, not fake why, but I would be like, I just want to be home with my kids. You know, I just want to be that mom that's home with their kids. And I'm like, no, I don't. I want to, the kids go to school. That's amazing. And they're having a great time. But like, now I can coach their teams and not be tired. And now, Soon enough, I'll be able to afford to take my family wherever they want to go, whatever they want to go, and do all the things that I wanted to provide to my family that I haven't been able to because of money. We are happy. We are a happy family. 
But the money doesn't just come if you're happy. You have to work for it and you have to do it and you have to help other people do it. So we talked way too long. We need to get started on this amazing program, but I hope you know a little bit about us now and I hope that you enjoy this next few minutes of incredible presenters and people who have been through this and, and are walking the talk and are doing what we're all trying to do. Um, so, okay, so let's start here. Who's a first time attendee at a life management? Can you stand up? Stand up if you're a first time attendee. Let's get a life management. Huge. 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 Florence, they don't All right, we're going to move into rank advancements. So we're going to start with anybody since the uh, Please mute yourself. has ranked to uh, the beautiful rank. Anyone, anyone need to stand up? Thank you. No, Sam is going to break us. Everyone on the Zoom, please to mute. Zero, so keep on going. We're about to make pro together. Yep. So the next is Pro Two. Any new Pro Twos? Yeah. And the Pro Threes in the house. Everybody get to a Pro Two and a Pro Three. I heard a quick math example, and it was just like, wow. I could easily, if I helped two people get to uh, the rank of Pro 2, but that would help me to get to Pro 5 really easily. So, or Pro 3 really easily. So, anyway, uh, not doing the math there. The Pro 4 is in the house. New Pro 4 is the last convention. How about we do all Pro 4s? If you are a Pro 4 in Life Vantage, please stand up. Yeah. Yes. Pro 4 is 10,000 Balanced people, that's a huge deal here. Balanced volume. Congratulations. And then we're going to do pro fives. Should we just all stand up? Okay, before we announce um, of the other pro six, I definitely want to give some love to a certain somebody in the house, and that is Margie Ham. Uh, Rockstar. 
I mean, the awards that they give you for hitting the elite ranks, that crystal thing is really cool, but it doesn't get any, it doesn't build curiosity. It's like a plaque. What you guys say? This builds curiosity. And that's what we're doing. So really brilliant idea there, buddy. I just, I don't know, I wish I could put it up there. Can I? I would just love to put the video so they can see. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it really, 1,500 people liked it. 108 comments. Yeah, video, yeah. Thank you. It's quick. And this is what I said. Some people thought I was crazy for building a network marketing empire. I honestly could give a flying. <laughs> Look what just arrived in the mail. I finally got a silver record on my wall. And we all know I never did it playing big stages with my man. Croatia is next on the list. Love my work. So, you know, it's 108 comments. One of those comments was Alistair. Do you want to stand up just to this guy? So what are you doing? Relationship. I did the ITT. I said, Great to meet you. Tell me a little bit about you. Sent him some videos like we do. He was interested. Got on a Zoom. He met the team, which is me at the moment. He met Sam. He met Seth. And then he signed up and he's here. Wanted to change his life. Great things. But if there's one thing I can say about this award is that. It makes you so good when you look at your wall and you realize that that just didn't happen by you singing a song or buying it. You actually have to do the work to get it. And that is, in, it just feels so good. It's so fulfilling to know that you're looking, I look at it every day. I'm just, just look at that. I'm going to add some more up there because it means that lives were changed. And that's really why we're here. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited and I'm super close, but I don't feel like I'm close enough. But who is close to hitting Croatia? Anybody? Anybody want to just at least go? Who is dreaming to go with me to Croatia? Oh, girl, you better get your bikini Oh, I'm so excited for you. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Okay, so we're going to do who has at least 100 points. Oh, okay. We're going to start a little bit lower. Who has acknowledged every ever? Okay, who has at least 75 points? Stand up. 75. Who has 25 points? At least 25 points. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Who has 50 points? At least 50 points. Keep standing. Keep standing. Stand up. Who has at least 50 points? Stand up. Well, you, Marjorie, you qualified, right? Yeah. If you have at least 50, 1,000 points, stand up. A thousand. More than a thousand points. I'm not good at math. No. If you have more, okay, stay standing. Fifty to a hundred. Stay standing. Okay. If you have a hundred and twenty-five points, stay standing. Oh, yeah. I know. I gotta sit down now too. Okay. If you have. 135? You went from like 50 to 125. Yeah. I know. Woo! Hey, what's going on back there? How are you doing it? ITT! 135. Anybody have 150 points? Okay. Oh, how much do you guys have? 167 points. 176. I'm dyslexic. Can we give it up for the nettles real quick? Yeah. Nice and doggy. Yeah. I know you just sat down on the way for 35 to 50, but I have been getting to know you guys over the last few months, and you just spoke on our call recently, Nandi, and it was just so wonderful. And thank you for being such an amazing representation of people who have had other lives with totally different professions who have come together and built an incredible network and just seem 
so incredibly perfect together. So you guys last night, I was like, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yay, yay, yay. You guys all need to get there. It, it, it all boils down to, I mean, for me, it boils down to just doing the math, making sure that you are set on course, set your intention, see yourself there, visualize that we are all together. Um, that's a huge part of, of um, what we do to, to make sure that we are making our dreams come true been to an incentive trip before. I haven't, so we shouldn't even be talking about this. Can you come up for just one second and tell us why incentive trips are important and why, yeah, why they're not? Well, the obvious is to see an amazing place in the world, but the most important reason is so that people on your team who are seeing network marketing for the first time, they're seeing, they're, they're stepping into leadership for the first time, that they can see that it's possible that they're because, and this is for those of you who are in here who are leaders and you don't want to go to the next rank, please change your mind on that because there's people in your organization that need to see you rank advancing to make it possible for them because they look at you and they see themselves in you, they relate to you. But the most important thing about incentive trips, yes, you get to see a great place. Yes, the company paid for your vacations, but the most important is to incentivize your team to follow suit because free vacations are amazing. And when you get to hang out with people, like we have in this room, it's one of the most amazing things ever. So that, in my opinion, is the most important reason for incentive trips is to allow your team to see you go so they can follow and encourage them to follow along. Thank you. 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 Like, I don't know any other job that just pays you to do what pays you. Like, yeah. We're paying more to do what actually pays you already. Like, amazing, right? So, if you took advantage of the bonus pool, even once, even just once, raise your hand. Now, take that hand and go like this. Have yourself a Good job. Good job. Okay. Who has had at least one month where they hit the bonus pool two times. Raise two hands. And take those hands and squeeze them around yourself and say, good job. Yeah. All right, who has hit the bonus pool at least three times in one month? Yeah, okay, stand up. Yeah, stand up, stand up, stand up. And you have to have both hands up and one leg. And <laughs> Uh, 200 PP. 
Anybody that made the top 1% club? Right there. Yeah. Good job, you guys. You're doing the actions. You're getting out there. You're building the relationship. She's going to bring it. She has it. Uh, I think the next we're going to be talking about the ICANN mindset experiences because it's really been changing a lot of our lives. And really, again, um, from my Hawaiian perspective, everything um, we learned, we would, we would never say we were going to go fishing. We would never say we were actually going to go hunting. We'd always say, I'm going to go holo holo. And meaning that that meant that you were going to go on a, on a voyage, like a walkabout. Um, because one of the thought process behind that is that when um, our thoughts become our words, they become our actions, right? And so when our actions and that mana, that, that experience from that feeling that we get when we project forth our words, um, our catch would actually hear us. So we wouldn't come home if we said we were gonna go fishing uh, with any uh, fish. We wouldn't come home with any um, you know, animal that we went out intentionally to go and you know, hunt to feed our family. And we would just use the word holo holo so that that stayed um, in, in, in the intention was there, but the words were left within our own mind. So it's super important to really start our day off with some gratitude, start our day off with some positive thinking and make sure that we're actually thinking that forward into our business as well. So we're going to have some experiences. I think, um, are we going to have, let's, Vandy, did you guys want to start? Um, yeah, we're going to have, um, Band your hand. Band your hand. Band your hand. You. I, mean, I can't. You guys, this has been so, so powerful for me. I have been struggling a little bit with our, we were traveling full-time on RV. I was building my social media on this idea of living full-time traveling with our family. COVID hit. We went and bought a house and it just, Emotionally, I was struggling. And then we started listening to these I can tools and the power of that. When I stand up in the morning, and I don't do it every single morning, but when I have my boys listen and they stand up and they say, I can, I will, I am. Yes. And they yes, yes. and they shout it. Yeah. The power of that has been so incredible. And I haven't been brave enough to raise my hand on Deb, but the other morning I was having a bad, this has been about a, 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 a rough time. And somebody got on and they were sharing with Deb and she called them out and she goes, you're the oldest child, but your siblings are adults and it is not your responsibility to take care of it. You guys have two siblings that are getting to grief. And that emotional release that it wasn't my responsibility anymore was huge for me. Yeah. And the power of what it's doing, the power. I've had so many people comment to me about how happy I look this weekend. The release. You know, last time Seth said that he, people thought he had grown taller. It's that power inside and connecting yeah. to who you were meant to be, becoming the best version of yourself. And I feel like Deb has that. And I just want to give a shout out. When we were at Kristen's house in December, I went to brush my teeth. And then Daisy's room, I could hear, you know, the brief focus flow going at night. <laughs> and I walked back in, Sam's about the same room playing. It was practically years to be exactly what they say we're going to do, and it's changed our lives. Um, so I gotta be honest, when it first came out and Seth had, I mean Seth was sold out, you could tell him he had this look at this dead air and stuff out. It was okay, I watched the video and Honestly, didn't really, it just wasn't like nothing really there. And then the subconscious, you know, I've heard about it. You know, I've been person, I've been one person to go through this business, like seeking it out. You know, I just come to the band, you know, like trying to do extra stuff. It was so important. You're doing something every day. And then the subconscious, like, a little kind of there, but 
Oh, I'm sorry. The subconscious stuff like it all seems a little poop, to be honest. Being real. Yeah. And all that has wired around two things in one year. Like it was, it was just, it was weird. And so, but I started doing it, you know, following your leaders, right? And like it was amazing. And I had, like, I know that I may look like, you know, I'm always confident and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, you never know what's going on in somebody's life. But deep down, like, I have my issues. I have my depression and I have my self worth issues. Like, so don't feel alone in that. You know, like, don't think that any, any leader that you see doesn't have their stuff. Um, and so I, I say negative stuff to myself all the time. I'm always doing that. I'm always doing that negative stuff. So I started listening to these neural tools that rise and drives, even though it's the free one, it's still my favorite one. I just see that a lot. That was my um, but you know, I listen to some of the other ones, and I just pick whatever I feel feel like I need that day. I try to do two a day. That's like my goal. Is at least you know, at least one, but I try to like I shoot for two, two or more a day. And you know, out of the blue thing that we keep talking about, like, like it's amazing. Uh, two stories, real quick. One, uh, I was riding on a plane up to the Vision Summit. They do that Vision Summit. Lead Academy. And I sat by a lady, and I just been to an elk life management academy in Phoenix before, and Eric Rock was the same quote of her saying basically, you know, everything you do, do it with no ulterior motive. Do it for the ultimate intent of just helping that person. And so I sit by this lady, and I was really trying to do that. I was just, you know, I honestly have no intention of bringing up life management or tan or anything. And at the end of the flight, she was, where are you going up to eat stop on? So I told her. Talked about gene activation, the difference between supplementing and retuning your genes. You know, like I'm a piano goes out to it, your body's got to it. She got a lot of training, she has autoimmune issues, all this stuff. Invited her to the event. She came. Thank you, Donnie and Marcy, for everything you did there too. You guys are awesome. Um, but she came to the event and she signed up as a distributor at that day, like on the spot, and got the product she wanted. She's on, she just got work for her husband. And um, and right, right before this too, I, I kind of recommitted to, to just give my will to God. Even though I have questions, I don't understand everything, I recommitted to him. So I think it's that and the neural tools were two of the big things. And another experience was just last week. Um, part of the wealthiest guy, maybe, maybe in, probably in our town, maybe on the whole mountain. And a guy I went to school with, but we weren't really close going to school. He, we talked a little bit, he knows kind of what I do. He calls out of the blue, probably one of the one of the biggest guys in my chicken list, but I'm not the biggest, but one of the biggest. And out of the blue, he calls me. And 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 I I, I was busy at the time. And so um, I call him back. And in his text, he texts me and he goes, at 46, he works out like four o'clock in the morning. Like he's huge. He's just like kidding me of health, you know. And he goes, but I'm not having the energy to stand. 46, you know. So it's got to be in myself. It's got to be something like me. Another friend is too that he was going to go to. He needs some products. So I want to talk to a few of my friends. Um, kind of foreshadowing a little bit. Like he signed up as a customer um, without calling any of my friends. And I knew with this guy, he's like a type A personality. Oh, I knew I had seconds for my personality. <laughs> so it was, it was all I could do to talk that fast, right? <laughs> But anyways, I, 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 and I had been doing, because I've been doing more and more of these, you know, these accountability stuff and reach out more, doing accountability groups and things like that, um, I've been talking to more people. And so I kind of had it down to supplements, they have vitamins, minerals to myself, but people want to know what makes us different, what makes us different is we retune your genes, kind of like, yeah, those out of our bodies, we have to do some retuning your genes. That's Love all, it. Basically all I said. Whoa. <laughs> All right, that was good. Yeah. Say that again. Yeah, yeah say it again. Yeah, so basically what I say is like, you know, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of products out there, and it's good to you basically. So supplements, they add, they're good. There's a lot of good ones. They add vitamins and minerals to our cells, okay? But like a piano goes out of tune, our bodies go out of tune over the years. So this is retuning the genes in our cells. That's kind of my go-to for like everybody I'm talking to. That's great. And anyways, like, he was in. Like I told him a little bit more about the products and we kind of tried to price him and guys and about that. I knew he had money, so I was bolder with him. <laughs> and 
And I usually try to start the high end on the very minimum nerve, too. If you don't start high, you never know what somebody's willing to do. You know, might want to notice stuff quicker if you start higher than ultimate stack, you know, down to the vitality stack, and so on. Anyways, ultimate stack. Next day, his wife, ultimate stack. Yes. Okay. Um, and, then, and also that same day, their son's not sleeping well. So we're doing the vitality stack. Thanks, by Let me call you and ask a bunch of questions about that. Um, and then, like a few days later, they call and I give them a bunch of access samples when I took their stuff over. I just took them so I could get started and just switch when they come back when it comes to the mail. Anyways, I took him, I took him uh, some axial samples and, you know, still praying and trying to live right and doing my neuro tools. And, and um, the next, a couple days later, they called back and I was like, Dad, I like that action. My wife really liked the purple grape. Yeah, she was, she was on the phone there too. I like the purple grape. And anyways, we go through the whole thing. They ordered five packs of axial. Right in. That was a thousand million customer order. Last yes, week. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Sam and Mandy are amazing. They have an incredible upline to a lot of us. Daisy went out of bed rest. They came over and flew to Hawaii. Just incredible people. So Calling up, um, but real quick before I call somebody else up, who raise your hand if you have done or are currently doing any I can mindset training at all? Awesome, congratulations because you're taking a step forward for yourself and your real life and your life managed life, and the two will probably come together at some point. Um, I'm going to ask the Nettles to come up um, and talk a little bit about I can rank it bands and how it's Okay, when they told us we were going to talk, um, I got a little nervous that when I get nervous, I need to sit down. Uh, because this is not something typically comfortable to But what I want to share with you guys is I can is the second wave of my own, getting over my own, the voice inside my head, quieting voice inside my head. When I was seven years old, my parents, my biological parents were divorced, and the divorce never stopped. There were seven between my biological parents. Um, and so all I ever knew was new moments, new schools, new family members, and people leaving. And that started to develop my psyche, and it started when I was seven years old. And something happened about halfway into this business. We were, I think we were pro seven or pro eight, and I got introduced to a book called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. Uh, but Dr. Uh, Chad Helmsman is the name of the author, and it wasn't available on audiobook then, but I needed the audiobook because I, I, I like to program my subconscious mind, and there's a book also called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, and so we got some audibles from the, from the author, and Marcy made some hours of them, and we put them on, I put them on my phone, and I put in my earbuds and I fell asleep listening to this night after night after night after night. Things that you're awesome, you're powerful. We went from business relationships to financial relationships to physical and all of the facets of my brain that had been for at that point more than 45 years telling me that I suck. People are going to leave you. Um, I mean, just to put it in perspective, many of you know that I was a chiropractor before this, a very successful chiropractor. But when I wanted to be daddy more than I wanted to be doctor, I knew Life Vantage was my solution. The day that I sold my practice was the, the day that I discovered that my marriage of 28 years was over, that my, my ex-wife had been in an affair. And so again, and I'm, we're, Jen, Saban, where are you? So right here, we were just talking this morning before getting in here about balance. And so for those of you who are hearing people on stage, and Daisy, thank you for your amazing presentation. And I resonated with you so much because so much, I, I just feel better alone. And I feel better around animals, dogs and cats than I do around people because people have left me my whole life. Dogs and cats have never left me. And so I'm just being vulnerable up here. The book, what to say when you talk to yourself. 
reprogrammed my mind and I'll share with you dreams that I've had since I was a little boy that if it was a bear or a ninja warrior or whoever was chasing me I was never the pursuer I was always the one being chased I always got caught and I always got killed or beat up or whatever in my dreams for years and years and decades and then I started reading this book and listening to these audibles that Marcy made and that the, the author made Shad Helmstetter and I I didn't even catch it the first time, but I beat something, whether it was an alien, a bear or something, I beat it in the fight. I didn't recognize it the first time, and I didn't recognize it in the second dream, but the third dream, when Marcy woke up, I couldn't wait for her to wake up, I said, you will not believe what happened. I was in a fight, and I don't remember the circumstances, but whatever it was, I beat it, and it was the third time, because that, that one I had to remember the previous two, and that was probably seven years ago, eight years ago. And to this day, I've never had a dream where I was pursued or fighting somebody where I haven't won since that time. For me is 2.0. I've been listening to step into greatness because I prefer to do it at night and I prefer to fall asleep to it and I put it on the loop. So if I fall asleep to it, usually within three or four minutes, I'm asleep, but I'll wake up in the middle of the night and it's going again. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and it's going again. It's constantly in my ears. Marcy doesn't even know this. I'm going to share with you guys a dream I had last night, which is the 2.0 of this. I shared with you every time I get in a fight or someone's chasing me, I win now. But there was this guy, he was at our house, and I don't know, don't ask me about why the dream is, but this, these two guys were under our sink in our master bedroom doing something, repairing the pipes or something. But she didn't know, and I didn't know, but in this dream, it was where I had this hidden spot, where I had rings that I was going to give to her later. And these guys were in there longer than they should have, and I walked in, and these guys were huge. One guy was like 6'6". Six, six. He was bragging to the other guy that his shoes were size 18. I don't, again, I don't know. Anybody in here who can interpret dreams tell me what this means. But this guy was huge, and the other guy was bigger than me, too. And I realized they were in our bed, bathroom longer than they should have. And I walked in there, and they were both under the sink. And they had discovered those ring boxes, and they had put them in their pockets. And I said, what are you doing? And I startled them both. They both stood up, and I said, hey, you guys are fired. Get out of here now, and you're going to walk down and tell Marcy what I just caught you. She's the cop. <laughs> yeah. And, and I got in this ready fight position. And these two guys were both bigger than me. I was outnumbered in a small space and they didn't even want to fight. I was like, oh my gosh. Right, because I've got that much confidence that I went and I handled this situation and they both backed down. That's never happened in a dream before. So thank you, Deb Erickson. Thank you, Step Into Greatness. Thank you for brain focus flow. Because I listened to, I've been listening to that for months and it's now changed my subconscious mind in a, in a totally different way, which to me is it's priceless. I don't care how much we pay a month for this membership. That's priced to me because it's changing my entire life and my confidence and my posture. I told you I sat down for a reason because I'm not comfortable talking in public. I act. I was taught to act, step into character, and go do it because my natural tendency is to withdraw and be by myself. I'm more comfortable by myself. It's just what I've grown into my entire life. But I now, when I get one of these in my hands, I get into a different place. Now I wanted to be vulnerable with you and tell you about this. But I also can act and take it to a different level and be the superhero that I know I was born to be. That when my life was out of balance, and this is what I want to thank you for, Jen. When your life is out of balance, you may feel overwhelmed by what you're hearing. The road ahead may be daunting. Think about this. This, this is planet, this universe, life itself exists in balance. If there's too much negativity in your life, you can't exist that way. It's out of balance. There has to be some positivity on the way. If you are having an overwhelming dose of positivity, you can't live that way. There will be negativity coming your way because of balance. It has, the world has to be in balance, but here's the deal. You may not be able to change the obstacles or the adversity or the negativity that's coming your way, 
but you can change how you handle it. You can change your mindset and say, you know what? And now knowing this weekend, you guys are all not even, if you flew here, you're not going to need a plane to get home. You're going to be that high. But expect the negativity is coming your way. And when it does, go really, that's all you got. Because of the weekend I just had, you better go bring some friends and try again because it ain't, it ain't affecting me. The negativity will come and your mindset will conquer it. So thank you for giving me that gift, Jen. Appreciate you. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to be really fast because I see our corporate is here made to honor me. So, really fast for me, I can is so important and it can fit into the nooks and crannies because we're all really, really busy, right? Life happens all the time. So, you don't have to go and sit down to be able to participate because you can listen to it no matter what you're doing. It's funny you talked about plumbing because we actually set a record with our home warranty insurance or our home insurance. Normally, homeowners never have two claims in the lifetime of their homes. We have two going on at the same time, all because of water damage. And so the last 45 days, we have not had walls downstairs, basically, and we're waiting for construction to start this coming week. So for me to jump on board with recruiting with ICANN was like, are you effing kidding me? Literally. But I can still listen in the morning. I can still listen at night. And I can take that flow into my dreams. And it helps me sleep and relieve the tension and the stress from the day. So I highly recommend, you know, even if you just pop on to the free to start, if you need to do that. ICANninstitute.com. There's a free account. There's 10 neuro tools that you can participate in for free, guys. Start using it. It'll make a difference. And then you'll want to jump up to the goal to participate in everything else. So I will be done right there. But we love you guys. We are so glad you identified yourself as leaders by being here in the room and by being here at this event. So you will be getting more attention, but you also need to raise your hand, okay? We have a couple of people that are gonna talk about ICANN in a few minutes, but because we have corporate here, we are going to ask that you not say anything that's non-compliant. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you guys all come up here, please? <laughs> So good you guys weren't here earlier. You should have heard the things that people were saying. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. So I don't really think these guys need any introduction. But um, what I'm going to ask is share whatever you were going to share anyway. But can you also add in, especially you, Steve, um, we're, we're talking about mindset. This team is huge into mindset training. And we've been doing a lot of work with a woman named Deb Erickson and the ICANN Institute. Lots of us. Let's do, raise your hand if you're involved in ICANN right now anyway. Okay. So we are like massive minds, mindset shifters. So as you talk to us about whatever it is you're going to talk to us, can you add in a little sprinkle of mindset and maybe how you come to the table with your mindset or how that works for you as well or how that could work for all of us? So there we go. Well, first I have to say, I walked in here with Dondi talking about every time he gets in fights. So I was like, am I going to learn like some like self-defense? <laughs> but then I was, you know, the, the rest of it made sense that I heard you talking about just the importance of a strong mindset and fostering yourself. So obviously, um, I think that Justin, we decided his mindset was like maybe deflecting a little, because I don't know if you saw how quickly he handed the microphone <laughs> to <laughs> Yeah, mine is, make, mine is making things uncomfortable, so. <laughs> Anyway, but I, I just want to, oh man, I'm never going to go first again, I can feel that, but I, I just want to say how much we love you guys and how grateful we are that you're here, and we know there's a lot of different places that you could be right now, and that you are in the most important place right now. Together, we are going to really do amazing things with Life Vantage, and I, I know Deb personally, so I know the work that you're going through, and she, she is fantastic, so... I, I will say anything we can do to continue to help support you in any way, we are here for you and we're just grateful for everything that you do. Yeah. So I'm Kristen Cunningham. I am regional VP over North America. So been in Life Vantage about a year and a half now. 
How's it going, everybody? Ooh, this is loud. Okay, I like it. Skylar Fobbs. I'm the director over the U.S. Yes, director of fun. I do like to have a lot of fun. And that goes hand in hand with my mindset, especially just thinking about right now and the mindset that you get into when you're going into an event. From the, or from the distributor side, it might be a little bit different for the corporate side, at least for me personally. I know this is where I'm going to get the energy. I'm going to get all that I need to go through the next time that we or go through until the next time that we meet. I mean, all the hard work on the back end of, you know, all the tough conversations coming up with all the different promotions, making sure that we're providing you guys the tools that you need to really eliminate those friction points as you're building your business. So you can just go out there and share this amazing opportunity. This is where we get re-energized and we're ready to just run through brick walls for you guys. So thank you for doing that for us. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So absolutely just love this culture that we have here at Life Advantage. And I've been here for quite a while. I actually left and came back specifically for this culture and to build something special with the amazing leaders that you have in the room. Um, so just thank you for having us and thank you for everything that you guys do. Love it. Was it? Like, just don't hold your hand up. <laughs> um, Justin Rose, uh, Chief Sales Officer. Just Chief Sales Officer. Um, and yeah, first of all, thank you for being here. I know uh, these uh, events have taken on a little bit of a different turn from uh, where we were pre-pandemic, but uh, um, I hope you guys are excited about what's coming and uh, the new event in June, which will be a fresh new event that we've never done before, but we're really excited about. And excited about the potential it'll give all of you. Um, how did you like this morning's messages that were shared? Good information. I really, I really like the end messaging because it, I feel like, especially for the group, this group and how you guys have built for quite some time, it adds a component of um, the strength of what you've been doing for quite some time. And I think we're passing that on to the, the bigger group. I'm sure a lot of you, um, what was shared today was like, oh my gosh, I learned that four or five years ago. But for some, it was like the first time that they had been able to really open their mind up to, okay, that could help me. So you're going to see a little bit of that, um, of, of almost a, a retraining, if you will, um, throughout the next little while um, as we get onto this AND platform. But I think in the end, you're going to see that it just opens more doors for everyone. So um, from a mindset um, perspective, um, this is, it's, it's hard for me because I, I have to challenge myself all the time to think more positively. Um, I, I don't know if any of you are like this, but I always go to the worst. Like, it's just kind of how I start my day. And so I have to challenge my wife. It's like, yeah, waking up is a, is a whole thing on its own, but I do have to go through a process. And I know everybody's process is a little bit different, but I do know it makes a difference from when I do it and when I don't. When I make a shift from starting the day and even, even into my self-talk, and, and things that I'm telling myself to prepare myself for the day, to prepare myself for the scary guy at the end of this line when I'm going into the office. He's at, he's at, oh, not Skyler. I, I didn't realize I was Skyler all the way around. But to prepare myself for what, how I'm going to show up for my team and how, more, more importantly, how I'm going to show up for myself. So mindset is key. I love, love that your team is embracing it, really diving into it. I like, I've known Seth forever and I feel a difference around Seth that I've felt in quite a few years. Like this has lifted you up into an amazing space um, and you can, that energy just, it bleeds out. So keep it up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the best part of Life Advantage. And here's my CEO, Steve Fyre. <laughs> So, so Justin has a hard time waking up in the morning, right? But Chris, Chris, no, I'm not going to go any further than that. 
But Kristen is known as Miss Sunshine in the office. Okay, she brings the sunshine every day to the office. And that doesn't surprise you, does it? Um, so again, thank you for being here. I'll, I'll echo that. And you know, when I think of mindset, and maybe this is an age thing, but uh, it's it's my purpose, right? And and before joining Life Vantage five years ago, I don't think I ever knew what my why was or is, but I know what my purpose was. It's the same thing, right? Um, and and I think that that is what I think you have to constantly kind of challenge that or or question that. But hopefully your purpose is deep enough where it doesn't blow with the wind. You know, there's enough root there that it doesn't change frequently. You have something to fall back on. Um, you know, the, the challenges of life, the challenges of, of my job um, at Life Vantage, it's not, um, it's not separating, it, it, it's, not, it's not a vision, it's not the direction, it's not the purpose of what we are, it's filtering out all of that are distractions that come in, it's the life, right? And, and when that, that balance, um, gets out, you know, in the world, gets out of sync. For me, it's when I let all of the other stuff creep in too much and start to infringe on my purpose. And so that's what I, I con constantly come back to. I'm actually also, um, my kids and my wife might not agree with me, but I'm a self-professed introvert. <laughs> they don't agree, but, but um, you know, so when I, when I get out of balance, I, I tend to retract, and um, I love fly fishing. There you go. I love fly fishing. I, I love riding a motorcycle. I love skiing. I love doing some activities that allow me just to kind of be back in myself. And I don't think that's selfish. I think it's just helping me to get back to that purpose again. So that's my purpose. So, yeah. I guess how I work with mindset. Thank you again for being yes, here. And, and I just in just in case we've got some really exciting things coming. And so stay tuned for this. We have one question here. RSL soccer team uh, will be playing on the Saturday night that we finish up the, the day. So that's for the first 1,000 people that register. We'll um, guarantee you a seat there. Um, and, and so it's, it's, it's a little bit of community, a little bit of training, a big product reveal that also uh, will have training around it because it's, a, it's something we haven't done before. So. I would just say it's going to be very experiential. Like we talked a lot about social media today, and one of the things that we want to provide more of is just more opportunities to share on social. So this is not going to be like typical, just come sit in a ballroom. Like we got a little fanfare planned with this one. So very much an interactive um, experience through the whole weekend. Yeah. Again. Thank you so much. Oh, we want to tell you that everyone at home that is watching on Zoom right now is blowing up the chat. They wanted to say uh, thank you and that they're showing their love as well. So, all right. Aloha.
So I think we all come to the events and we all get bra right up and we're all excited and you know that that excitement is here in our hearts and in our bodies and our feelings. But it's when we go home, it's kind of that imbalance that Steve was just um, speaking of that creep up on us. And it might be just the smallest thing, like oh, I hate the way this um, looks on me today. Oh, oh my gosh, is that another wrinkle? I don't know if. You know, I just didn't feel good when I had to yell at my six-year-old last night because he wasn't doing what I asked him to do. Um, oh, I'm a little bit scared about actually calling that person tomorrow. I don't feel good. You know what? I'm so busy. The sink and the and the the, the what else? Every every single plumbing went out and, and then threw the electrical out. I don't, I'm just overwhelmed with life. There are so many thoughts that creep through our minds on a daily basis that we don't even take inventory of that are constantly bombarding us with the story that we thought that we had to buy into. And so that's why we're helping to promote that when you start to change that feeling within your body, that feeling that stems from the conversations going on in the secrecies of your own minds, that's when you actually start to move into your spaces and that magnet that um, Deb has us put around our bodies starts to actually attract. So hopefully instead of you being the person that's actually going out and saying, hey, 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 I've got something. I learned something. I'm so excited about something. They're just going to see you strutting off that wearing your thing, that cute little hat. And they're like, what is new about you? I want to know. They're going to see that story and feel your heart on social media. And they're going to go, tell me more. I need to shift in my life. And they're going to be begging you, like Jamie tells me, he just listens. And they beg him for the information. So we're going to have three uh, other guests. Hopefully they're still in the room. Kristen Allgren, Jennifer Ellis Murray, and Melissa Grimes. If you guys could all come up here and share a little bit about your experience with um, the ICANN Institute. So, yay. yay. Seth came up and said, keep it short. And I said, I actually don't even want to talk. So I'll keep it 30 <laughs> seconds because my biggest fear is actually presenting. Um, but the biggest message I want to give across to you is that you have to see Sam and Mandy dancing. Yeah. Last night, oh my gosh, <laughs> picking her up and it was crazy, like for real. But no, um, I can is so. Have any of you raise your hand if you have ever had a great therapist that has helped you? So Deb is. Therapist for yeah. <laughs> she is. And so for me, I I also am an introverted extrovert. I like to spend a lot of time alone as well. And I have, you know, I, I feel like I was born with like this a, a natural confidence. So reaching out to people is not something that scares me as much. I get lazy with that, but when I know that I'm going to be presenting or that my fears that come up are leading the team and failing at that and how do I do that? So for me, Deb has crazy helped me in that way and I cannot speak as highly as possible. You have to, you have to get down. Like, that's it. Like, no, no, that's it. So that's all. Great job. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The ICANN Institute, to be honest, has been the single most, most powerful thing I've ever utilized. Um, I do agree. It is a therapist, but I don't necessarily think it's just for network marketing business. To be honest, it's completely transformed every aspect of my life. I tend to yeah. fall into overwhelm, and she's been so pivotal in being able to talk me through. Um, I love what she brings to the table as a person. It reminds me when I hear all of her stories about you didn't know that you needed this and, and, and what this business has done for you. I look at somebody like Deb, who is 
move in the inside of a passion, God given passion, what she, how she shares her life and how she's helping each and every one of us, how we get to go out and offer that to other people as well through this business, which is through residual income. Um, also, I really uh, relate a lot. Uh, we raise Rocky Mountain Horses now as part of my passion and what um, slowly I've been able to do because of this business. And uh, with horses, it reminds me a lot of trying to work with them and not against them. When you are instilling these, this mindset training, it truly helps. She calls it flow, that you work inside of flow. Uh, you know, understanding your subconscious mind is 95%. 5% is your conscious mind of your willpower. So you can't work against this 95% of your mind with the willpower that you're going to leave with here today. After this weekend, you go home and like Seth said last time, 90 days, you know, uh, it's that feeling of I've got this, I'm going to do this, that may last a short period of time. Um, with the horses, we want to work with their bodies, not against, with this, with the goodness of the flow, we can now pick up that phone when we don't feel like it past the 90 days um, and be in that flow, working with our bodies, not against it. So it's amazing. Or with our minds and not against it. I highly recommend 37 bucks on there. You kid, and I've done Eric Lori. I've done all of them, and they have not made the impact that this makes. Monday morning mindset is the best part of my week. I never want to miss it. So, anyway. Yeah, you have to stay on the way. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good job, Kennedy. I always tell people, yeah, come to the event. We want to brainwash you. Like, we need to be, like, programmed. I started with um, what to say when you talk to yourself as well. And, um, you know, Deb is like, brain. you brainwash yourself about yourself. Suddenly, you start to realize, oh, if everybody needs to hear this, this is what everybody thinks of themselves, then... Um, yeah, we all have a lot more in common. It pushed me, you know, to step into social media. I'm sure a lot of people heard Daisy this morning, the three to five things, and then you kind of like sit there with your pen and you're like, who am I authentically? <laughs> you know, like, um, nice. Um, who am I? Like, I'm told to be authentically me. And why is that hard? You know, it's just, and then, you know, I wanted to do a, a three week vegan diet, you know, and um, some people suggested I do it on social media. I thought that's really stupid. I don't actually want to be known for telling people what to eat. I feel very uncomfortable with that, but it turns out that a lot of people really wanted that structure, and so I just, just brainwashed myself every day with that woman and got on there and said some things, and like 150 people, including the cowboy and his wife, Sam Flake, like, I think 36 hours before the recess starts, sends me a message like, you and Bandy have fun. Yeah, she's going to force the kids to do it, too. And I'm just going to watch from the sidelines and try and get some people on some gut health products. And I was like, okay. 36 hours later, he's like, I'm in. And I just it shifted people, and it got products sold. It was the first time in all these years I got two customers on the social media, <laughs> like, that I don't know that are not related to me. And, um, yeah, so just a little brainwashing goes a long way. Turns out that being authentically yourself is really just actually being authentically yourself. It's really weird. Um, so get out there with your little three to five things and do it wrong and feel uncomfortable. And eventually people are going to go, oh, yeah, that's the thing that I like most about you or whatever. And everything's going to work out right. So just go ahead and plug in. Don't go to the events. Life finish brainwashing, Deb, self brainwashing. Not to say when you talk to yourself. It's all good stuff. <laughs> I know everybody's starving, uh, but we have one quick thing, one more quick thing. Two minutes set. Do you want to come and finish us up with the set information? But it does say five minutes in parentheses on his notes. So, but everyone is starving. It's my fault because I talked to each other. Can we give it up for set all the way <laughs> You're going to see something you've never seen before. Two minutes or less. Wait, wait. 
Hey, yes, somebody Siri. record that. Hey Siri, set an alarm for two minutes. <laughs> Are we going? Okay. So uh, this has been awesome. We've been taught, we've been inspired, we've been fed. Uh, I would have never known, Gandhi, because I feel when I look at you like you're a man of steel. And you're just like me. Right? Yeah. So for those who had concerns with I can which might just uh, touch this. Uh, I can institute. They're worried, you know, Sam's all talking, worried about him. Like, Cowboys doing woo woo. Right. Uh, here's the deal. If God came to you and started to talk to you, what would that message be? What would he say? Can you ever imagine him coming and saying something like, you just not enough? Wow. I'm just I'm disappointed in you. No, he would never do that. When he looks at you, and that day will come, he will say that I love you. He said that I know you. He will say that you are mine. All this mindset stuff, you just get back to the truth that you, you've been deprogrammed through your whole life. So get on the ICANN Institute. Uh, the, the codes AZ50 or CEO50 will save you a bunch of money on that. It is the best money we've ever spent. We use it in our family. We use it in uh, the seven minutes as we're going to bed. They're amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Am I at like two minutes yet? Good. Uh, one more minute. I have a minute, man? <laughs> so get on I can. We spent all this time on mindset. Why? Because if you are comfortable with you, everything else falls in place. Mindset is not everything, but everything begins with mindset. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, lastly, come with us. Come with us. We're going to an event virtual April 7th, 8th, and 9th. April 7th, 8th, and 9th. I can institute. We're hosting the Ascend Sponsoring Summit. Okay. It's a team building and sponsoring summit. April 7th, 8th, 9th. Ticks 129 bucks. We bought a bunch of them. So you get them at 50 bucks if you order them this month. Okay, so you got 30 days, get them in, $50, go to www.team, that's key, that's CEO. There's no .com there, it's not .ceo, okay, team.ceo, buy your ticket, get every single person on your team there, it will change their lives, thank you so much. No, but really, if you order food from the Fresh Co, it's delivered back there. I'm going to just take a second and open it up and send it out so you can not agree with your meal stuff. So just give me a second to unload it if you order it from the food company place. And thank you again, Seth and Stephanie, for having this and all of our uplines and all the like, and distributors. Make sure if you guys didn't come get your CEO stickers and get a picture in front of these incredible um, pictures so that you can put on your board.